Minomon. Oh! Hello, Tabers. Ross Mero here, and it is finally time. The Digimon Card Game Third Booster Union Impact. Here's our security Digimon promo pack that we'll be opening later. Now let's get started. Man, I want nothing more than to pull an Omegamon Alter S secret on camera for you guys. I mean, I opened two boxes of Booster 1 and two boxes of Booster 2, so this is basically my fifth box opening in the Digimon card game ever, so I think it's about high time I get a secret since I've never actually pulled one. Gyromon, Commandramon, Positron Laser, nice. A green option that gives you a bonus effect if you have a blue Digimon, so very good for the Peldramon deck. Rigildmon, nice. I would say that out of all the decks in this set, the one that I'm most hyped for, the one that I want to build and play the most would be Ragnalordmon. So I definitely want to pull Ragnalord as one of my SRs and I definitely want to complete the two Zubamon and Ludomon lines as well. So I'm just going to put Rigildmon over there. And Upamon, a Digitama, followed by Dark Despair. This is our rare option card for purple. It gives one of your Digimon uh, Revenge, I mean vengeance, I believe, until the end of your opponent's turn. Making it very tricky if your opponent wants to get rid of a certain Digimon on your field. Alright, moving into our second pack. Nice, here we have Tiardo, Tiarudomon. So this will be level 4 next to our Rigildmon. Until I'm on, cool. I mean, I really like the Lothmon line too, as well as the Terriermon lines. They're both adorable. And here's Duramon, the ultimate stage for Zubamon. I'm gonna put that down there. Followed by Hawkmon. Nice, love the 0-2 support. And Clavis Angemon. Okay. Followed by Shakomon. Nice. This is one of the rares I am most hyped for in this set. Like, Shakomon, oh, I just wish it had like a bit more to support because it has such a cool effect. During the opponent's turn, all of your opponent's Digimon that have no uh, evolution sources get security attack minus one. So basically, they can't inflict damage to you. And it, that is such a cool fusion of like the blue and yellow mechanics. I just love it so much. Here we have Yellow Armadimon to go with that Shakomon over there. And Beast Crescent Slash, I believe. This is a move that Crescarumon uses. Rapidmon, nice, but. I think like out of the entire Terrier Mon line in this set, Rapidmon 1 is the one with like the least impactful artwork. The rest just look so great and Rapidmon just looks a bit dull in comparison. Mon, nice, a recolor of Pelmon. Not many people would know of her, I would think. This is an option card that's a tribute to the original Digimon card game, reminiscing the good old times. So like Gardromon here is thinking about when it used to be a Oh my face! I mean, even if you want to disappoint me, at least let me have false hope all the way until the end and not like crush my hopes instantly in like what? Is this like the third or fourth pack? But anyway, we have just pulled our parallel card and it is going to be for Craniumon. And of course, it looks absolutely amazing just like all the parallels in this card game so far. But when you pull a parallel, it means that you are no longer getting a secret. Or rather, when you pull a parallel of an SR or an, another rarity, it means you no longer have a chance to get a secret. So, at this point, I have to bid goodbye to Omegamon Alter S. But fine, fine, we'll take Craniumon and put him over here on the right in all of his amazing Royal Knight glory. So Craniumon's a blocker and he basically has the effects where your opponent cannot destroy your blockers with effects. So this essentially makes black extremely impervious to red and purple. Of course it does kind of strengthen the deck generally as well, but it is still vulnerable to like the other forms of removal appearing in the other colors, like returning to hand. So fast, I don't even have time to recover from that and react. But anyway, here's our second SR, another Royal Knight, and it is Duftmon. I guess I don't mind, because Duff, effect-wise, Duftmon is one of uh, the more favorite SRs in this set for me. It has a really cool effect. First of all, when you evolve it, you get to play a level 4 or lower Digimon from its evolution source, and all of your Digimon that are level 4 or lower get jamming. So it works so well with like the blue low-cost Rookie Rush, and it plays really well with uh, the whole uh, Peldramon, Imperial Dramon deck as well because that deck really supports jamming too. So 
Two one, nice. During uh during both players' turn, your opponent cannot increase their memory other than with tamer effects. So this stuns a lot of powerful cards in the game like Ragnar Lordmon and even I mean the especially the Miotis Mons or Vandimons. Here we have Dokugumon, Holy Agemon for blue, Maramon for purple, like I have been waiting for the Maramon line so much! Finally they're here, but I kind of wish to see them in red, not purple. Although it makes complete sense to have them in purple as well. And here we have Balio Vambimon, or known in English as Malo Miotismon, a very dangerous card with piercing. During both players' turn, whenever another Digimon other than this Digimon is destroyed, memory plus one for you. Very, very dangerous. And a lot of internal synergy with Arukenimon and Mamimon that destroy themselves in order to summon it as well. Because there's a nuance where uh, Arukenimon and Mamimon bring out uh, Malo Miotismon for free, right? And it's only after Malo Miotismon is played that Mami and Arukeni destroy themselves. So this will then trigger Malo Miotismon's effect to give you plus one memory. So a very interesting internal nuance over there. And just as just talking about him, here's Mamimon. Man, but to be honest with you guys, I'm not too keen on getting the Royal Knights as SRs in this set. Like, I mean, of course they are cool. Like, of course the Royal Knights are cool, but I really like the other Digimon more like Regnal Lordmon, Imperial Dramon, Mastimon. I love Mastimon's design. And uh, I would re definitely love to get a Blitz Greymon and Crest Garurumon as well. The prior forms that. Oh, Zuba. Uh, I mean, Zubai Gamon. Hold on. I feel like I've not been keeping track of the Legend Arms, so I might have missed Ludo and Zuba if they accidentally came earlier. Better pay attention. Durandamon! Nice! So, first we get our Red Rare for the Regna Lord Mon deck. Just gonna put it over here. Nice. Carrying on, so now we just need a Brunhild Mon, I believe that's how you pronounce the name. <laughs> a pretty tricky name. But yeah, so we've got one parallel, one SR so far. Hopefully, we still manage to pull Ragnar Lord Mon. And now I wouldn't really mind pulling Imp. Oh, Kunemon. My favorite rookie insect type Digimon. And whoever came up with this artwork and the concept for the artwork of this card is pure genius because. This scene, for those of you guys who don't know, is a tribute to Digimon World 1 where you actually encounter Kunemon as like one of the first enemies. Not really like a boss, but kind of like a mini boss. And like, there's this mushroom is involved right there. Because this mushroom is like an item in Digimon World 1. Man, that is nice. And here we have Kirpimon or Cherubimon, I guess. I'm actually not too sure like what, what the proper pronunciation in English is. Cherub Cherubim? Yeah, not too sure. Bifrost, and here we have Slapemon, Gazimon, Arukenimon, completing the duo, Jewel Beamon, and Boltmon. So I believe this is our first vanilla mega for purple, and I just love the choice of Boltmon. Love the artwork as well. Excellent Digimon. And here we have Metal Mammymon. Nice, it's a rare, but even though it's not really like involved with the Legend Arms directly, it's a really good attack card for the Legend Arms because when you evolve into it, it allows you to retrieve a level 7 Virus Digimon from your trash, aka Ragnar Lordmon. I'm a bit surprised that Ragnar Lordmon is like a virus type though because like from the whole appearance and style, it just feels like it would be like a, a vaccine Digimon, like a hero of justice, virus buster kind of thing. Ooh! The new 2 cost Mimi for purple, very nice. Allows you to gain memory when either you or your opponent plays an option card. So it goes very well with the new Lilith Mon, which like it's kind of like a brand new kind of option spamming or spell slinger kind of deck. Super interesting. I was not expecting to see that kind of deck and like mechanic in Digimon at all. And Gargomon artwork, 10 out of 10. Have we pulled Terriermon yet? I actually feel like we have, but I can't. Sukamon, of course. Since we got New Mimon last set, right? Clockmon. A gyromon, oh yo. Oh man, what is up with this box? It like knows it completely knows what I want and is completely avoiding the cards that I really want. And here we have another one of the Royal Knights, Slipmon, and again, I mean I love I love Slipmon. I love all the Royal Knights. It's just that I love the non-Royal Knight SRs in this set even more. Much more, in fact. Slakemon is just really cool though, and I think it's like, honestly, we've been waiting quite a while because 
If I'm not wrong, Kudamon, the whole Kudamon line came in booster set 1, right? So finally, we've got the proper Mega for it. So when you evolve into Slatemon until the end of your opponent's turn, all up to 5, I believe, up to 5 of your opponent's Digimon get security attack. Minus 2, well, basically, they're not going to be able to do anything. Basically, helps you to last one more turn. And when Slatemon is destroyed, you can give one of your opponent's Digimon minus 11,000 DP until the end of the turn. That is going to kill most things. Metal Etzimon, okay, we need to pull Etzimon as well. And here we have a rare NJ Woomon. So this one, I this NJ Woomon, I think is just a weaker version of Slatemon when you evolve into her. Security attack minus two on one of your opponent's Digimon only, not five, until the end of your opponent's turn. So I'm I'm really liking this like defensiveness that's coming with yellow. And I guess it does kind of support Shakomon kind of like with a fam uh, familiar kind or similar kind of concept. And here we have Secret Tactics or Hidden Tactics. It's another card that pays tribute to a card from the old Digimon card game and during this turn it gives one of your Digimon the effect where if it checks an option card in security, that option effect does not activate. So it stops like Gaia Force, Kakutus, Peldramon! Nice! I mean, not an SR but like this guy is just totally like the flagship character for this box. Love Peldramon so much, like that scene where the DNA Digimon X Vmon, X Vmon, Stingmon, and then yeah, you guys, you guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you guys know what I'm talking about, Peldramon, nice. Okay, <laughs> so that was the last card of the set. Man, okay, well, if that's the case. I mean, I would like to say that I'll place my bets on getting Imperial Drama on Dragon Mode, but I still really want Ragnarok Mon, so... <sighs> I'm still hoping for Ragnarok. Godramon, nice, cool. And Sylphie Mon, so I think now we've got one each of like... Oh, whoa, whoa. let me just start a new pile for convenience. But yes, now we've got Sylphie, Shako, and Peldra. So all of the 02 DNA Digivolve for Jogress Digimon. Very nice. Just... I just love, love that trio so much, man. Psychmon, Agumon... Bancho Stingmon, this is such a cool Digimon, I love it so much, and... Brynhildmon, nice! So with that, we've got the second piece of Ragnarokmon, putting it right here. Is this a sign that we'll actually manage to pull Ragnarokmon as our next SR? Looking forward to it! Where, where in the world are Zubamon? I'm pretty sure I haven't pulled Zubamon. Ludomon, I have this vague sense that I saw it just now, but forgot to put it in the in the in the stack. Uchimeramon, Xvmon, nice, a very powerful Digimon to play in the Peldramon deck. When you evolve into it, you get to make one of your level four or lower Digimon active. Could be this Digimon. So for example, there's a Vmon in this set with jamming. So you attack with it first, it survives because it's not destroyed by security Digimon. Then you evolve it into X Vmon and then make it active so your opponent can't attack it during their turn. Nice, Ludomon's here. Finally, gonna put it over there. Wormmon is our rare. Okay. Yeah, about I think six, seven packs left. Let's get our Zubamon! We're getting a lot of the pieces though. And here's the new 2 cost Joe for Black. At the start of your turn, you get plus 1 memory for each of your Digimon. I mean, as long as you have a Digimon with Blocker. So you put about like 3 of him on the field and playing Black. That's a lot of advantage. Goes really well with Craniumon. Like, I'm really looking forward to how the actual Craniumon deck plays. Especially against like non-red, non-purple. Nice! Here we've got Terriermon looking absolutely adorable with Chocomon on its head. The best. The best. Best artwork in- Wait a minute. Okay, I can't decide. Terriermon or Kunemon, best artwork in this set. Why don't you guys vote in the comment section down below? I'm gonna have to say Kunemon. I'm gonna have to say Kunemon. As cute as Ter- Oh, Ken! Nice, which reminds me. We still haven't pulled Davis. I don't need. Oh yeah. Zero two, I watched in English so hard, so I basically have no. I almost have no, like, recollection of, like, their Japanese names at all for the zero two characters. But, uh, the. 
original adventure because of Try and all that, I've remembered their... Ah! And our third SR is going to be Charismon, not a royal knight, but also not one of the key SRs that I really want from this set. Doesn't change the fact that she has an incredibly powerful card and one that I'm really looking forward to see in action as well. First of all, she has download minus 3, just like Mega Argomon, and the effect of during your turn, once per turn, when you use the download ability, you can rest an opponent's Digimon for the cost instead. So not only does this make it easy for you, easier for you to access your high-level Digimon, it can potentially end the game. For example, like you rest your opponent's blocker to activate this effect. Nice Etimon, very cool. When destroyed, it allows you to search the top cards of your deck for like a mega level Etimon Digimon to evolve into. Just like in the show. So we have like Metal Etimon, and I'm hoping to see like King Etzimon as well, like the other the other mega variations of Etzimon come out in future sets. I mean, even if they are not SR, it's just kind of fun to see like this kind of mechanic, this kind of like gimmicky mechanic uh, appear and get developed. Zubamon, nice! So we have completely completed the set. Just gonna put it over there, a bit squeezy, and ending off with the virus version of Metal Greymon as our rare. Okay, down to two packs. Okay, so actually at this point with 4 SRs including 1 parallel, isn't this... I'm not sure if I still have any more foils? Let's take a look and see. Commander Mon, Positron Laser, Right Shield Mon, Mino Mon... Oh! Clutch at the end! Salvation! Okay. Okay. Okay, so, oh my god, I think I just lost my voice. If you guys have been watching uh, the official Japanese Digimon card game channel just yesterday, a day before the official release, uh, the two members of the channel, Cody and Hideyoshi, actually opened one box of Union Impact each, and each of them only got either Durandamon only or Brynhildmon only. So they didn't get the two Megas that you need in order to make Ragnarokmon, but in this box, we have done just that. Including Ragnalordmon, including one copy each at least of all of the other forms in the line as well. So I'm gonna put Ragnalordmon here on the left in all of its glory just to show off the fact that despite all of these other royal knights and <laughs> megas that of course I really like, I think I really cool but didn't want to get that much because there were other options that I thought were cooler. At the very least, We've got Ragnalordmon to save the day. Here's our final pack. Blossomon, Duramon, Tiarudomon, Psychmon, and Kilomon as security Digimon and ending off with Mega Gargomon or in Japanese, Saints Gargomon, a really cool, powerful, non-SR Mega in this set as well. And with that, that was our box opening of Union Impact. What a ride! And finally, here's our security promo pack. I would say that out of the options, I'd really like to get either Aerodramon or Flymon. I mean, the, the other three are just too mainstream. I love a bit more hipster Digimon. Oh, Aerodramon! Nice! Like, Aerodramon is just one of those weird, like, a bit obscure, a bit obsolete Digimon that I just really love. Such a simple yet sleek and cool design. 